See the tires need some air in them straight away. I'll get the oil out, check the oil, do an oil change, obviously. Pull cord looks okay. And on this side, the other side is the belt. First of all, I need to get this open here um, to get the blades out when I sharpen the blades. There's the blades in there, there's two of them. You see they got these three, three bolts, um, which hold them in. And let me give you this tool. Well, it's a socket on the end of the long. Um, but I find what we need to do is stick a bit of wood in there first to hold the nuts up, the bolts, so you can get the socket on the head. Uh. Oh, this time it came off really easy. Well, not easy, but... Maybe a shorter stick would have been easier. Probably could do. Something happened with these blades last time. But you can see there's a little notch there that needs taken out. Oh, definitely, but they are double sided. But obviously on this one, it was something went in there and broke it. Um, these blades are about 100 euros for a new pair, so I'll make the most of them. But I think this year, being its third year, fourth year, it's time to buy a new set of blades. This is the second one. Again, little. Seen better days, but we'll give them one more life and then change them this year. I think later this year. Right, I want to do an oil change. Um, what we normally do: take this off, let it lean the machine over, pour it out, and then uh, put the new in. This end. These um, adapters for um, impact drivers and sockets come in a set of three for the different sizes of sockets. Really handy for jobs like this. Makes things a lot quicker. I'm surprised. I've had people having to change them every year, but... They look really good. I mean, I don't use it a lot every year, but it does get some use. I'm in the middle of rebuilding the workshop so I'm without a one of the 
these at the moment. So I've got this little temporary one, which I hope will be enough to do these. This advice. I think so. with these but even still that's one can't use the other side because it's buggered but let's just take that and he's blaring off the other side I do remember before one being really fiddly. I don't want to cross through it. And to do that, I'm going to wind that thread in with a big bolt. Here we go. This is the right size. It's done it. That's one. Okay. They probably got a torque setting these, but I haven't got a torque wrench. And I think the setting is bloody tight. So um I think I've got that licked. I think. Yeah. Oh boy, that's good. I change those nylock bolts. I'm not happy with those. Put a couple of new ones on. It's always good to have a selection of hardware at home. And of course we need to check the air filter as well. Mm. Right, all that's left is to turn it on, I suppose, and give it a go.